This is Bach. The prophet of the stone. Go, oh, Brian, we have that. Doesn't the little sleep work wonders? Isn't it marvellous? I'm in a little corner. Right, so they're all blithering on here. Why don't I get a proper job? Okay, well, I got a proper job. I just promoted myself to be a parenthesis at that prophet. So, what's this for? Keep me tummy in. I'm putting on weight. Spring, you see, people have got money and they're throwing away more food. <laughs> <to eat. laughs> I could have been a doctor. Okay, I was training at Bristol University to be a doctor. Well, by 53 years old, I would have been a very senior medical fellow, wouldn't I? Because I'm very capable. Actually, I could have been an astrophysicist, in fact. I was the best physics student my school had ever had. But the physics teacher, the head of physics at Mill Hill Public School in Northwest London, Mill Hill, set the same test. He'd been head of physics at three major public schools, or minor. Mill Hill's a minor public school, actually, but anyway, whatever. Right, and I got the best marks. So Einstein had been through all the physics that existed and maths by the age of 16, hence he saw the gaping hole for relativity. But I'm not pretending that I'm, you know, but Einstein actually said could do better at school, in fact. Okay, so I was top whack at physics. I was very good at first principles. Okay, once something's gone into this dull old skull of mine, you know, it's in. Okay, and if, I, if I've worked it out from first principles, then I know. So I'm a bit like that with family and people's names, actually. I'm, I'm not very good at names. Faces, places, conversations and so on. Brilliant at that. But I don't always... But once I've got a hook on a name, okay, then it's in. And the same with family. How many children have you got? What ages are? All that, those sort of questions. Fine. Once it's in, it's in. Well, I'm like that with physics. So once I know it's the first principle, therefore I'm coming from a different angle. I'll know the first principle instinctively, and I'll see there's something wrong or whatever. Okay, I'm, I'm quite good at that. Anyway, I could have been all sorts of things. Anyway, I'm nothing. I am a Christian. Right, so, the lady in the church. And I'm explaining what I've been doing with my life. I've been alone with God on this pilgrimage. I say for 20 years. Well, I meet people along the way, but basically I'm just alone having a conversation with God. And you think I've learnt nothing? Oh, well, there we are. Woe to them who dismiss me as someone who knows nothing. Woe to them. Oh, yes. Hence, wipe the dust of that place off the feet. I like this coffee here at Costas, right? Look at naughty old Francis. You say, I've got a cup. Right, with big ears on it, like Prince Charles, big ears. Something to get hold of them, them lugs, you see. Cheers, Jack. It is really coffee, actually. I just had a good night's sleep, that's all. So, what have I been doing here? Stuck in stone. I've been in holy poverty, thank you. How did I survive? The fact is, I have in faith. That's a fact. Because I'm here to tell the tale. And woe betide those who belittle me and treat me like a tramp. Woe betide them. Oh, well, but I then believe me. You know, but there's some good people too. Just yesterday from the church, someone stopped his motor car, turned right round, came back just to speak to me. He says, you're very welcome. From the Church of England. I sit by the Church of England. This morning I had my breakfast there on the hill, here in stone. It's what I do. The old tramp. Oh, well, but I then. I'm a Christian, a beautiful man. Trying to be a better one, that was true. Trying to be a better one, that's the best I can offer you. <laughs> I love you, my lord. All my heart, soul, mind and strength. 